Hey everyone, this is 60% Cat. I'm here to show you a little bit of this game I've been working on. It's called Observateur, which is a French word. You can also call it Observateur, it's fine. And it's an interesting game, kind of unique. And I like to show a little bit of it that I've been working on. So this is the very, very beginning of it, pre, pre, pre alpha. And it consists of these characters and observing characters interacting with others. And it's this kind of larger world basically an island or a city it's like an all enclosed community and there's different characters doing various things going through their days their daily routines so you mostly follow around this character her name is Lily and your actual character is this her bow which can also be a butterfly kind of thing and you can kind of float around at least a certain amount of distance away from her. So as she walks around, you can kind of go around and, and check out different places. This is like a, supposed to be a warehouse right here. And this is supposed to be a, a freighter ship. So she arrives to this island by riding on this freighter. She's going to this town to get something that she has found out that's here. And how you observe things, what you kind of look at or where you kind of shed your energy will influence what decisions she makes. And so she might notice something that you kind of were looking at and change her path and change the whole chain of events afterwards, essentially giving you different results. So what happens? Well, I'm not going to tell you. But I had the basic outline filled out, and all the places, and many of the characters, many of their general personalities. It's a lot of almost parody on society, and a lot of societal beliefs and norms. So these are all businesses, most of these. And there's different things like, this is a bar owned by an old lady. She doesn't really care that it makes money or anything. It's her right here. She's Lady Doris. And, uh... But people come out here. Some people, there's maybe a person who's an alcoholic who hangs out there in the daytime. Yeah, and it happens. The whole story happens throughout one day. So it's just the morning, the afternoon, the evening, and the night, and then the overnight. And in the morning, basically something happens that basically ends your game, good or bad or ending or game over or whatever. This right here is the shop. This Mantis character owns it. He's maybe like a foreigner sounding kind of guy. So he's almost like an, an alien, you could say, that makes his own business, that's the kind of business, another kind of mom and pop. But you're also seeing how these small businesses are being suppressed. This is a restaurant, this is a dining, dining hall right here in the kitchen. This is Frankie, he works in the kitchen, usually alone, much to his chagrin. And this is Joyce, she works as a server in the morning. She also works at the bar at night to replace Lady Doris. Just to give you all the social details of what goes on, you know, I'm sure you're interested, right? This here is Genevieve. She's the general manager. She's kind of a bitch, but she has reasons, you know. Um, we can't see him, but all the way in the freighter right now is Benjamin and Alf. Alf is the he steers this freighter ship. He also is going to come in and have a meeting with his boss, who's going to come from the east side of the island on this large ship. And his boss is kind of this merchant guy, but his but his wife is this very um, materialistic, unhappy lady, I guess you could say. But she should be pretty hilarious. I have a lot of already plans for them. And Benjamin works in the warehouse, and he. He kind of does the distribution of the island, so he's kind of charge of that. He works out of here. In the center, there's a special capstone, which plays a role later, but I'll tell you that. Up here is the refinery. This also is a very large plot point. We have Nip and Nib, these kind of insect characters that work there. They are <laughs> they're small characters that work in this refinery. And they do all the, the work for another character that's not displayed here. Uh, Charles is his name. He's a large dragon. He's the largest character. And he's basically just sleeping all, most of the time. 
well, he's in charge of this refinery, and these are his workers. And they, these tubes gather the aether that's flowing around them, and then they refine it to this something that they sell as fuel, and all these ships use this as their fuel. They have a kind of monopoly, is kind of one of the aspects. And this is the, maybe the guard, or the barracks. It's the outpost for the Federation, really. It's just a or large organization that uses force. And really, I'm pretty sure I'm going to only have one character working for them. This, this guy called Sam, who always wants to be authoritative. He really respects authority. You could think that way in of Dwight from the show The Office. And yet he's not very good with authority. So that's his character basis. And it's a general idea of the story arcs and the, and the format of the game. Obviously I'm not going to reveal a lot of it, but it's really fun to get it started. I hope this piques some interest. Thank you. If you want to check it out, make sure you check out 60% Cat. 60%Cat.com is my website with all my game prototypes. Or you can check out my YouTube, which you have to type out the number 60, write out the, the character percent, and then write out the word cat, of course. If there was only a symbol for cat, that would be wonderful. Thanks, guys.